So I'm here at the East London Printmakers, um, and I'm here talking to Susan. Could you introduce yourself, actually? Yeah, sure. Um, so I'm Susan Clark, and I'm the studio manager here at East London Printmakers. Right. Um, I also teach here at okay. uh, the etching class and also the screen printing and textiles class. Great. Can you just sort of uh, maybe give us a little talk about the um, kind of um, equipment you've got here and the services that you might be able to offer somebody that's come to uh, use this facility? Yes, yeah, so we're a kind of um, a space for everyone and anyone. Right. So whether you're a novice, someone that's never touched printmaking before, someone that's a graduate and has just come off a, a degree course and is looking at facilities to expand sure. their practice, or a professional working artist yeah. and needs access to those kind of facilities. We've got the space and the equipment to kind of cater for everybody. Sure, that's great. Um, whether you're into etching, aqua tinting, lino, etch lino, colour bar, yeah. the, the, the list is endless. Yeah, a lot of people wouldn't actually know what some of those words no. actually mean. Yeah, so yeah. coming to a place like this, do you have a kind of like, um, like an open day type thing where they can try different types of techniques? Or? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, twice a year we have a, an open studio right. where we invite the public to come in and just explore the processes that we we work okay. on here. Not always the same processes at the same open studios, but yeah. we kind of try and mix it up where like this year um, we're doing colour graph, we're doing lino and screen printing and I think we're going to have some uh, something called kitchen litho which is a lithographic process using very uh, basic materials that you might find in your kitchen. Fantastic, the sort of thing I might be doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very, yeah, experimenting very low like tech, like yeah. very low tech yeah. but um, very effective. Fantastic, so just um, kind of, could you sort of just walkie talkie our way around Absolutely. the building, it's quite a, quite a big space you've got here. Yeah. So um, we're, we're here in this room, we've got the yeah. papers are underneath here for us. Yeah, so this is essentially what I refer to as our, our clean space and uh, you think of a studio and you think of a lot of mess and a lot of anger and a lot of yeah. disorganisation but actually it's very important to have a space that you can rely on sure. working in cleanly right. and putting your paper down, especially as a printmaker you need when it comes to auditioning, you yeah. need clean services yeah. to keep that paper clean. Um, so yeah. That's fine. I, 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 I'm just going to say I've noticed with a lot of ceramicists, they, they're prestigiously clean about their studios mm. as well. So apparently it's absolutely necessary to keep it very clean. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Clean anyone who's uh, seen my interview with John Somerville um, will know that there's some artists who are completely different. But, um, so we've walked from here through to the space in there, yeah. and that was the screen printing. Screen printing. Yeah. Okay. Um, do people mm -hmm. usually come from a screen printing background to go and use that, or do they maybe experiment first? And then... I mean, yeah, printmaking it can be um, notorious for being stuck in one process and right. maybe not always crossing over, but actually, in, I think we're very lucky in this studio. That there's a lot of people that. Over. Okay. Um, so you know, but also people coming in for the first time, especially our workshops. So we run yeah. workshops for people that you know, never touched the process whatsoever, right. and and they'll walk in there and kind of be like, oh, why is this yeah. stuff? And that's kind of magical that moment. That yeah, that absolutely. Yeah. Suddenly, like spurs on all these questions. Yeah. That, that is great. Yeah. That's what it's about. Yeah. And you've got great teachers such as yourself too. Absolutely. So you have to do it. <laughs> Um, so screen printing, and then we went through to the fantastic shop in there. We've got these amazing. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. So that's a whole other uh, yeah. kettle of questions. So that's my lino printing. I saw going. Lino etching. Um, so basically, relief or intaglio. Okay. Um, and relief is basically a process. Anything can be relief that's off the surface of a plate. Right. Intaglio is anything that is inside the surface. Okay. Of the plate. So basically, once you cut a groove, you put ink over it. You wipe the ink off the ink. In the groove, and that's intact. And that's intact. Yeah. As long as you've got to press really hard yeah, yeah, yeah. to get yeah. that out. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. And um, there was uh, another little room we went into where mm -hmm. you were exposing. Yes, the exposure room. Yes, yeah, yeah. which is not quite what we think. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some interestingly named rooms. Actually, Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> so the exposure room is where you. Um, it's like a photographic process. 
Yeah, basically, yeah. So we coat our screens with the light sensitive emulsion for screen printing. Okay. Um, and whatever positive you're working on, you can expose that onto your light sensitive emulsion using a UV lamp. Okay. Um, and that's what that big kit does. Yeah. That's basically the, the rooms that we've got. And you've got all the equipment here as well. People have to bring their own equipment or? Well, we are pretty much kitted out for everyone big kit wise. We've got everything that people need. But um, we've got screens that people can hire. Right. We've got a small shop where people can buy sort of basic materials to get themselves by. So okay. really, there's very little that people really have to prepare right. other than maybe the image that they're working with. Okay. But a lot of that on the workshop or open access, people can work on here as well with us. Well, I'd encourage anyone to come down here. Because also, you can't really see it here, but there's also a little space here for people to sit down and have tea and coffee. So it's a really good community. Here, Absolutely. I, that's that's a big, big, big part of these yeah. makers is that we are a collective, a community sure. of people that work together. We have a common interest, common goals, and, and we run of the charity and the time that people give okay. to us. So yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Well please come on down and thank you so much. Oh, no, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.